Hey guys, what's up? It's Jack and welcome back to another video. And this video was originally gonna be something completely different. And while I was looking for stuff to put in my thumbnail, I found that there was an X Defiant interview with Mark Rubin as well as uh, the the another lead developer of the game. And I apologize, I can't remember his name right now. But uh, it was the same gentleman who uh, did the interview with uh, Mark Rubin in the last video that we covered in terms of uh, the, the interview that Mark Rubin had. And this one happened about 10 days ago, but I don't, I haven't seen anybody else talk about it and I just happened to run into it. And this interview does a really good job of showing just how much the X Defiant developers care. Now, I just want to tell you ahead of time before I start showing you these clips in terms of the most important parts that we all want to know about that uh, the, the the video, uh, the, some of the audio in the video is a little distorted or whatnot. I think it was like maybe a, a little bit of a mic issue on their end. But for the most part, you should be able to uh, to, to basically make out what, what they're saying. And in the very first part, which just goes to show you that this game really cares, not just about the people that are working about on the game, which is very important, but also, like, it translates to that, th that they actually care about the players and they don't just care about their own pocketbooks in the words of Mark Rubin himself. So I'm going to let I'm going to let this clip play out and then we'll be back and forth just like we did in the previous video when I covered a previous interview. And uh, I'm going to let Mark and the devs uh, talk about this. So here's the first clip. Um, the industry as a whole has had a lot of and we're all kind of diverging topics here, so I apologize. I can totally cut this, no, but go right ahead. Uh, you know, the industry as a whole is a, is a workshop, a sweatshop, right? Like it's it's a lot of people crunching crazy hours, and so when I joined the studio, Pillars was uh, that I wanted work life balance for everybody. I wanted everyone to be more concerned about their family and their lives and what's going on in their lives. And oh, uh, you have you know. You want to go do charity or something? Yeah, go do that. Um, we'll pay. We'll pay your you know free vacation or whatever for to go do charity events or uh, what have you. So we're really more interested in people and keeping them healthy and sane, looking after our pocketbooks, so to speak. So. Okay, in this next part of the interview, Mark Rubin gets asked uh, in terms of with the upcoming season one on the way, he's asked what he can't wait to see players engage with. So I'm going to let the man answer and then we'll be back. Yeah. Uh, some of it I can't talk about yet, unfortunately, because <laughs> we haven't, uh, we haven't released the details of the faction, yeah. but there, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think what's going to be fun. So we launched, right. It's only been three weeks, but, uh, from that first day to now, the idea of what's the meta and what's OP has kind of you know moved around a bit, and uh, as as expected, it's 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 a little more complex when you add those abilities and stuff rather than a just simple shoot gun uh, kind of thing. Um, and uh, so I'm really excited to see how the new faction sort of mixes that whole thing up again uh, and sees. Uh, and see what people do. The thing that I kind of always talk about is the typical shooter is you have to be good at shooting. Um, to be really good at shooter, you have to be good at shooting and strategy, you know, the map tactics. Uh, it, so, uh, sorry, I could talk about this for a while, but <laughs> like people think Occupy is about uh, sitting on the point and scoring. And it is, but it's not. The way you win Occupy is you control the spawn points. Mm. Uh, but people don't realize that. They just go, I can run to the point. I have screamed uh, in ranked mode. Yeah. Some of my friends from know that I get that this is hard point, but don't just run at the hills. <laughs> yes. Control your spawn. <laughs> but uh, so there's there's complexity, but now we've added that extra layer of now you need to know how to use your skills, how to, when to use your skills, when to use your ultras, and all those kind of things. And I think that really adds depth um, to the, the skill gap in essence of, of the game. Yeah. And, and, you know, what GSK is going to bring to the game is going to be really fun to watch because we'll definitely see people react, uh, you know, in the first days, like, oh, this is maybe too weak, too powerful as always when you introduce a new thing. But then they learn how that plays in some modes, some maps, and then all of a sudden it feels like oh it's part of the, the bigger recipe 
And that extra layer Mark was talking about is really that the thing that is adding in our, you know, uh, recipe overall. So yeah, I think that would be really fun to watch and uh, we can't wait. Yeah. yeah. All right. So for those of you guys that are fans of Search and Destroy and or a one life uh, elimination type of mode, he gets asked about that. So without further ado, Mr. Ruben, take it away. Awesome. Um, I know it's probably going to ask over and over and over, but can we expect Search and Destroy <laughs> or any li limited lifestyle modes anytime soon? Yes. Okay. So... Um, Asking it because my my buddies we play. Oh yeah, no, no, no. It's 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 a. I'm, trust <laughs> and me. you don't want to just copy paste. I get that. Too. Yeah, yeah, no. But I mean, the search and destroy from Call of Duty, obviously, uh, is very similar to other modes in other games. Literally, we have Rainbow Six, which has a lot of that same kind of yeah, Counter Strike is search and destroy. Counter Strike <laughs> is search and destroy. Yeah. Like literally, that's what it is. So yeah, so I mean, it's a classic mode like TDM, Domination, or etc. So. Um, so for us, it's been really, it's like, uh, we had this sort of plan. We're going to roll out these core modes over time and, you know, keep people interested. And, and it's production schedules were such that that worked out that way. Um, but we've seen so much um, interest from the community. Again, a lot more in some ways than we expected. Uh, we made a change recently. We said, okay, we're going to scratch that plan. And we're taking all those core modes, things that people really want, TDM, which I announced on Twitter just recently, yeah. uh, yesterday, that's coming out in a couple of weeks. Um, the, our, I actually announced also today, I announced that uh, Bomb Mode is coming, which is our Search and Destroy. Awesome. Um, and it's coming as soon as we can get it, <laughs> right? Like, I yeah. don't have... When you take the schedule, you go, okay, we're, we're rearranging it and making it as fast as possible. Suddenly, you don't know when you're going to finish so we're we're getting it out as fast as humanly possible. Uh, I don't have a date on when that is, but uh, we are working uh, hard to get it out quickly. Okay, so here in this part is where things can kind of get a little interesting and perhaps maybe, maybe tease of things that maybe are yet to come because... The interesting question here that is asked to, to the developers here is like, what kind of dream features or something of that nature would they like to see add decks to find or whatnot? And, and again, this doesn't necessarily mean that something that these guys mention will be coming, but at the same time, it could also be something that also may be coming. So, but even if it's not within year one, it could eventually end up something that comes in down the road so uh i'm gonna let these guys answer this and then you guys can form your own conclusions about that um do you have a dream feature that you would like to add to x define like something that it could be in we're talking yeah. anything like yeah. could be added i want to hear yours first <laughs> <laughs> there, there is a big list uh, <laughs> yeah. for, for, and, and this could be like just wild there's no way yeah. i ever make anything in <laughs> too I mean, uh, there's definitely <laughs> something about uh, being able to, to expand the game in, in ways that are really not expected. Uh, so even slight, slightly outside of the, the specific CDC genre, that's a dream you know, we have already. We want to, to offer that expansion to potential future players. And, and still have connections between those experiences. So, yeah, who knows where we go with that. But thanks to all the, the, the IPs we can pull from, you know, there's a lot of creativity that can come from that uh, in order to help us expand the game in that way. So, yeah, that's, that's kind of... That was a very political answer. I've got a more <laughs> funny answer. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, well, one, one thing that's really cool, actually, is... A, lo a lot of the people we have on our team are people that I've brought over from Call of Duty um, from my past experience there with from Infinity War Treyarch. I mean, you're on the dang cover. So. And two of them. Yep. yep. <laughs> uh, uh, so one of the people we brought over is Jimmy Zelensky, who was at Treyarch, who was one of the guys who created zombie mode. So uh, just putting that out there. Uh, but if, I, if you, if you want to give me a dream feature, I think that would be just super fun. Uh, I want to do, and again, I'm being silly, but I want to do Helldivers <laughs> with rabbits. 
Okay, so in this one here, which I believe as of as, as I'm going on with this, I believe this is the very last uh, question and uh, the answer is very interesting. And in some ways it could be uh, roasting in a way. But uh, Mark Rubin basically gets asked, or they both get asked basically, uh, in terms of what they hope X Defiant will accomplish. So this is something that we've obviously talked about on the channel in terms of uh, what I think and, and all that kind of stuff. So to hear this answer from literally the horse's mouth is very interesting. And I think you guys will definitely, at the very least, uh, have a little bit of a smile or a smirk on your face in terms of what he has to say in terms of his his answers so i'm gonna let the man speak and then we'll be back that's a good one hmm. uh, that's a, the, the the different way of kind of answer this in the past has been uh you know we look at ubisoft what ubisoft track record is for 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 some games like this that have long lives like rainbow six going on their ninth year um i would love to be back here at this table in nine years having this conversation and go, remember that day we had that one interview and here we are nine years later. Hey, that means I've been here for nine years too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I mean, that's, that's the goal, right? We're, we're, we're not um, trying to, trying to recycle every year. We are trying to be a game that just has a life for a long time, adapts to the players built around the community uh, that was literally the pillar in, the, in our deck when we first started this game, written down. Uh, uh, so I think, uh, yeah, I think after our first year, we want to be excited about, you know, you know, we have work already in year two and thoughts in year three. And so, I mean, it's, uh, we're, we're planned. This is being planned and done, worked on as, as something that will be out there, hopefully nine, 10 years. I think I think we would also be happy to talk about the head divers and with rabbits and whatnot. <laughs> that that yes. would be great. Yes. Yes. Okay, so there's actually one more final question, and it basically talks about uh, future factions that they might have or something that they'd like to see included or whatnot. <laughs> and uh, they've kind of answered this before, but at the same time, they do kind of in a way hint at something without necessarily hinting at it. I'll let you guys decide. Uh, but uh, again, uh, the, the smiles say it all, and in terms of, you know... Uh, it, Again, very interesting in terms of their perspective and as well as what we could see. And again, uh, you may be surprised. And it seems like Mark Rubin has uh, something very specific that he likes because he's mentioned it in more than one interview. So let's let's let these guys speak. And from the beginning, when we knew we were going to be able to tap into all those IPs, so many ideas were coming from the team, from us, from everyone. Rabbits what, included. <laughs> rabbits included. Yeah. What we want to, to say about that is there is nothing off the table. Yes. That's that's really our stance on this. Now, obviously, we want to, it to make sense, but there are so many ways to bring those things in. And, and you know, if we go in silly directions, there is definitely a place for all the, the things that you can imagine possible. So, yeah. And, and we want also to... I hope we could one day have the, the ability to even answer to some, you know, player uh, requests like, hey, can you do just dance with whatever? Yeah. And <laughs> why not? You know, yeah, yeah. That, that's that's what, where we want to go. Yeah. Yeah. We want to be, we want to be unexpected. We want you to go, I was not expecting that. Yeah. <laughs> but it's fun because awesome. that will always be the driving pillar. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys, so that was it. So uh, possibly a few teases here and there in terms of what we might see in the future in some way, shape, or form. And again, this was uh, some of the things that they had mentioned, obviously, some of bits and pieces of it might have been a tease of something that we might see in the future. But at the same time, it really was cool to see like in terms of what they would love to add in if they could. So in the future of X Defiant, you know, if the game, uh, you know, lasts as long as we would like it to, and if it continues to be successful, and all that kind of stuff, which I would love, and I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. Um, uh, we may see this thing expand into something crazy. I mean, imagine a Hell Divers mode with rabbits if that 
actually came to fruition or uh, some sort of uh, its own zombies mode and stuff like that. And of course, uh, different factions and all that kind of stuff that could be put in. And guys, I literally found this clip about less than an hour ago, uh, just looking for stuff in my thumbnails. And as soon as I saw it, I first watched it and I was like, yep, you guys got to know about this stuff because I haven't really seen anything about it previously. So I wanted to share it with you guys. So with that being said, uh, does this make you more excited? Does this give you more faith in the team or whatnot? For me, uh, for me, the biggest highlight was just how much they care about their own dev team and stuff like that and the little bits and pieces of roasting uh in a uh in a in a respectful way so to speak towards uh towards in terms of like how uh other parts of the industry just don't really seem to care about uh their their workers as much as you know as much as they do their own pockets so it's really good to see a dev team under ubisoft that's actually uh, taking the correct approach and caring about the community and caring about its developers. You know, the happier the developers are, the better the project itself it's going to be. You know, you're going to burn your devs out and take advantage of them and God knows what else. The, the, it's going to show in the product. So, and, and at the end of the day, you know, you want people to be happy. You want people to have a good work-life balance. And ultimately, that's what it's all about. And work actually becomes more enjoyable when it comes to it as opposed to something that's being enforced, especially when it comes to something creative like this. But with that being said, uh, I'd really love to know down in the comment section in terms of what you guys think. Does this uh, information uh, make you more excited about the game? Uh, does it give you more faith in the developers and all that kind of stuff? Let me know down below. And as always, I'd like to thank everybody for taking the time to watch and or listen. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.